So to, to achieve this one, uh, we need to write Pomod XML to define the uh, uh, dependencies and all. So uh, to make this video very shorter, so I configured everything. Uh, don't worry, I'll provide the GitHub uh, link in the video description. And uh, these are all the uh, configurations uh, which I did uh, for this application. Uh, yes, here we are going to, uh, this is the main thing. And uh, here we are going to mention the uh, our function name uh, with a uh, with some uh, uh, unique 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 value, so that shouldn't be uh, unique with uh, any other functions of uh, uh, Azure. So that's what I defined here, like this. So yeah, that's it. So here, uh, pom underscore windows dot xml. So it is for uh, Windows instance, and we can we should have uh, pom underscore Linux, but uh, uh, I didn't create that one for uh, demonstrating in local so this should be fine and host.json uh, nothing much have to be configured in this one in future so if you already have any extension that already installed so you can define in host.json for any other configuration you can define host.json and this is the extension.cs project uh, so uh, it, is, it is nothing but like uh, for your function uh, the, if the function needs to be executed so you need to provide some extension it should like uh, azure provided uh, pom.xml so you need to provide the extension so that should be available in the uh, function environment so to make uh, our uh, uh, to make our kafka listener uh, available every time so that should uh, for that thing so we need to have these three extensions and uh, those are all Kafka uh, extension uh, PDF gen extension metadata generator and uh, uh, function extensions. You know, so uh, uh, when you're running the app, it will automatically download it, uh, or else like you can download uh, manually uh, by uh, by doing uh, some command. Let's open the file and uh, uh, go to the terminal. And in the terminal, so we need to add .net uh, build file name. This is so. Yeah, the file build successfully. Uh, the extension will be available in your local. So uh, the bin and so the obj folder will be available for your project. And let's get. Uh, from the disk yes it's available okay uh, so then after uh, comes to the main part the function so yes I created uh, the function uh, like this so every, we need to provide the function name uh, and we need to provide the Kafka trigger because of because like uh, it will trigger whenever a new uh, Kafka message comes in so that's what we uh, we, we add a Kafka trigger here so uh, we need to provide the name of the uh, trigger and the topic of the, that you want to subscribe and the broker list and the event hub connection string that you can uh, find in Azure event hub uh, uh, event hub instance and the authentication mode plain right now I'm using plain and the protocol is uh, this one S A S L S S L so the data type is string. Uh, so let's start this one so to start this one so we need to have uh, first of all uh, clean okay uh, i think here i already have so it configuration so to run this one so uh, i added clean package azure functions colon run so let's run this one
uh, there are uh, eight steps needs to be executed so the final step is uh, extension installation so if it is, everything is done uh, then you will find uh, then you will find uh, uh, like this yes the instance id so uh, it is started so now our job is like let's publish some uh, data and we'll see like uh, uh, the data is uh, going to capture or not so i already started uh, a producer instance which is running on localhost 808 publish so i'm going to pass as hello world azure function let's see yes so uh new message received so yeah uh like this so uh, we 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 are successfully configured our azure function uh thank you guys if you like my video uh please uh like my video and do post your comment uh and subscribe my channel thank you